Zealand uh, with the animal segment of Tempted and we're here to bring awareness to the slaughterhouse that's behind us. Uh, it's kind of hidden away, there's not many people actually know about it. And, uh, we're actually here waiting to see if any uh, stock trucks come in. There's a gap in between where the animals live on the farm and then where they end up in the supermarket and the gap is where they end up here in the slaughterhouse so this is the easy road for them. And there is, uh, once you connect the dots, there is no you have no idea what suffering is until you see what they go through. Um, what happens to them in the small in the slaughterhouses around the world? Um, we wouldn't even do to our worst criminal offenders. It's like I paid for this for a long time, you know, from living creatures to get stabbed from the neck. Kind of from, from a mindset of thinking that we needed to somehow, and, and we don't. Um, I live like super close. To here, and I didn't know this place existed. Like this, so I mean, I've driven past here a million times, and not known that it's still the house here. So I think, for me, it's just kind of like, you know, I don't know, these places are so hidden, and no one that I want anyone to, to know that this is here. Most people in the world today have that thing around going to the supermarket and they're divorced from from where it actually comes from, and. I used to be that way as well, now, now I'm not, and uh, the reason I'm not is because I kind of realised that um, these, these sheep and whatever other beings that we're killing, they have the same um, want for happiness that I do and you do, completely the same, they don't want any suffering, and then they get this horrendous thing at the end of their lives that they don't expect, chucked into trucks and then just form them, it's, it's all over. And, um, and such short lives too. I think it's uh, really important to me because it's uh, self, selfless choice. Uh, that means that you're actually thinking about what you put inside you. And you know, those animals, obviously they didn't really want to die. It's a, it's a biggie. And just thinking about, there are so many easy other, other foods out there to eat vegan. It's actually really quite easy these days. <laughs> so it's important to be a part of the SAVE movement because Save Movement is doing something that no one else is doing. It's doing something that's about bearing witness and showing compassion to the animals that basically no one is thinking about. This is their last chance for anyone to show them a bit of love, a bit of care. It's about recognizing them as individuals, and just being able to say, hey, we see you, we hear you, we're here for you, we're sorry. And I'm thinking that may seem a bit weird or unusual, but when you come, I challenge you to come and do it yourself and to see because it isn't. You, you'll feel a connection, you'll feel um, moved. Of course, I mean, we are here voluntarily, like, we want to, we want to say the truth. Like, we don't want to be surprised about most people. Like, they don't go to the slaughterhouse in their free time. But, like, if we do that for them and if we film that stuff and if we have the footage, we can show people and we can just open their eyes and, like, yeah, spread awareness. And I'm also raising a vegan family. I've got vegan children who are also activists in their own right and their own age groups that are young. And uh, my husband is vegan and we. It's, it's our mission in life, you know, sometimes people ask themselves, what's the purpose of life, why, why am I here, why, why me, why am I here, why am I in this life, this is why, this is why for me the answer to the question, I'm here to do this.